Okay, so for our last strategy, we are really going to look at ways that you can kind of redefine teaching by using technology to meet the specific differentiated needs of each student. So grab your starter file. If you don't have it, you can download it off the blog. And we are going to do the very last slide, insert a video. So first I want to make a copy so I don't destroy the original. And let's call it quiz feedback. Okay, so we are going to be using the very last slide, insert a video. So I'm just going to delete all the other slides. In the old days when after we'd given a test or a quiz and we wanted students to look at what they missed and figure out you know, what they did wrong, we would call everybody to the whole group and we would go question by question. And now we can use technology to be able to really differentiate for the students so that no one is wasting their time. And so that is kind of what this strategy is about. So let's say that you gave a quiz and I'm gonna go ahead and link the questions. I uploaded them to Cam Scanner. Let's see, I'm going to get the shareable link. Paste. Okay, so now here are the questions that the students can click on if they need a reminder. And it just says, need help with question one. So if we look at question one, okay, I can see that it is about making numbers 10 times bigger, so place value relationships. All I need to do is either create my own video explaining it, or if you wanna take an even shorter cut, you can go to YouTube. If you happen to teach fourth grade math, you can be lucky because I have a whole bunch of videos. Um, let's see, dividing by powers of 10, multiplying by powers of 10. Okay, so this might be a good one. All you have to do is grab the link from that video. And then back here, you're going to, oh, let me push pause. Okay, I did. Okay, back here, we're gonna insert that video just by clicking insert and in video. And I'm gonna paste my URL there. Okay, then click that search button and click select. Okay, so now the video is right here. So to get a second question, just duplicate the slide over here, click Control D, and now let's do question two. So I'm gonna delete this and let's see what question two is about. Question two is, um, one-tenth of the value. So I need to get a video that is one-tenth of value. Oh, here's a video for one-tenth of a value. So I'm just gonna grab the URL. Back here and insert another video. Delete that one. Okay, and then you can just continue on in this way until you get all of the questions. Now, whenever it's time, the, the quiz is over and it's the next day and you want students to look and make corrections and fix their answers, all you have to do is share this with them. And so it's super easy. You just go into your Google Classroom, click Assignment. Um, let's call these quiz corrections. And let's grab it from your drive. There it is. Make sure that the students can have their own copy and then click assign. And you can use this in so many other ways other than just quiz feedback. You can give step-by-step -step directions. So maybe today you're having four stations. You can have a slide with directions for each of the stations. So the first thing they do is watch the video and know what to do. You can have commonly missed questions. You can have what we did yesterday so that students who are absent can come back and just get a synopsis real quickly over what we did yesterday. So be creative with how you can use this strategy with inserting videos and sharing it that way. So I hope that you have been able to look at these strategies and watch them and get some ideas for your own classroom. Um, and you know, there are ones that are take less time to get going. There's ones that take more time to get going, but also when you know you think about it, 
there are some strategies that don't really use technology to the full advantage that it can be used. So think about that when you are digitizing your worksheets and creating things that um, with technology. So anyways, if you liked the activities that were in there, again, they are a freebie in our quiz 4.2a Teaks kit. So you can grab that and um, come back and check out the blog more to get more tips and tricks later. All right. Have a great day.